Ford has finally thrown its hat in the ring with the list of automakers either selling or preparing to release all electric vehicles. The company recently revealed its entirely plug-in Mustang Mach-E, a mid-size crossover set to hit showrooms by the end of 2020. But you can't talk about an electric car without bringing up the brand synonymous with them, Tesla. Especially when the company's next vehicle in line is its Model Y crossover, scheduled for release in summer 2020. So, just how does Ford's Mach-E compare to the Model Y? Let's start with driving range. Ford's Mach-E will be offered in six configurations. The first two to be released will be its first edition and premium trim levels that offer driving ranges of 270 miles and 300 miles respectively. For the Model Y, Tesla has promised buyers four different trim levels, with the first available being its long range and performance versions that, according to Tesla, are capable of 300 and 280 miles on a single charge. Meanwhile, the two vehicles' lowest trim levels, the Mach-E Select and Model Y Standard range, break even at 230 miles. When it comes down to it, you're essentially getting the same range when it comes to battery life for these two EVs. Next. Let's take a look at what EV lovers, who can't get enough of that instant torque, have on their minds. Performance. The Mach-E wouldn't earn its spot in Ford's Mustang lineup if it didn't have a performance model, and that it does. Two, in fact, the Mach-E GT and GT Performance. Both models feature a powertrain equivalent to 459 horsepower, with the GT Performance Edition capable of sprinting from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. For those keeping track, that's in the same ballpark as Porsche's 911 GTS luxury sports car. However, as expected, the Model Y is definitely no slouch when it comes to speed. Tesla confirms the SUV's all-wheel drive performance model will feature two independent electric motors that also manage a 0-60 time of 3.5 seconds. And while Ford has yet to confirm the Mach-E's top speed, Tesla claims the Model Y will max out at an electronically limited 155 miles per hour. For those interested more in the practicality of purchasing a crossover SUV, you'll be glad to hear both models are similarly impressive when it comes to cargo space. Between the trunk, room behind the front seats, and front trunk, the Mach-E offers a total cargo space of 64.4 cubic feet. Meanwhile, the Model Y takes a slight advantage in this category, with its same combined area offering up to 66 cubic feet. When it comes down to it, whichever of these EVs sparks your interest more, you can be sure you're getting plenty of room to work with. One of the Model Y's most appealing aspects to buyers is the futuristic tech nearly identical to that already found in the Model 3. While the dashboard may be as minimalist as it gets, it's the vehicle's 15.5-inch center touchscreen that replaces all knobs and buttons and gives drivers access to everything they need from the infotainment system to the odometer. Ford didn't hold back in this category either though, giving drivers a 10.2-inch touchscreen instrument cluster and a 15.5-inch portrait-style center touchscreen that houses the infotainment among other things. And while the Model Y may be available with Tesla's famous semi-autonomous autopilot system, the Mach-E is scheduled to be available with a hands-free driving system, similar to the industry standard Cadillac Super Cruise. Now for the most polarizing and likely to be disputed area, styling. Elon himself said the Model Y's design is based 75% on Tesla's Model 3, whose third generation platform it sits on. And depending on the angle you look at it from, it comes across as more of a tall sedan than crossover. While the car uses 70% of the same parts as the Model 3, it also still manages to steal some features from its big brother Model X as well, particularly the unexpected third row. Because of the long list of similarities to its companion vehicles, the Model Y may be the least innovative car Tesla has come out with. However, due to the top-selling luxury crossover segment it finally fills for Tesla, the Model Y still has the potential to be one of its best-selling vehicles when it hits the streets. EV fans looking for a more sporty mini SUV can definitely find that in Ford's Mach-E. However, pony car lovers likely won't be happy with Ford choosing to officially label it a member of the company's Mustang lineup. Although the automaker described the vehicle's styling as Mustang-based at the EV's initial announcement, 
We're not so sure its design actually deserves the iconic badge, but even if its closest similarities to the muscle car are the coupe-like roofline and grooves in its hood, we can definitely appreciate Ford attempting a more snazzy design for its first EV. Finally, let's examine that category most concerning to car buyers' wallets. Price. The Mach-E's base trim level, the Select model, is listed by Ford with an MSRP of $43,895. Meanwhile, the high-end GT version will start at $60,500. However, neither model will be available at the car's initial release. The cheapest version first open to buyers will be the Mach-E Premium, for a starting price of $50,900. As far as the Model Y goes, starting price for the high-end performance trim will be $60,900. On the other end, the bottom level standard range will begin at $39,900. However, as with the Model 3, the standard range will not be part of the car's initial release that will begin with the long-range version featuring an MSRP of $52,000. Although Tesla projects deliveries of the Model Y's standard range version to begin in the spring of 2021, we're hoping we won't have a situation similar to the Model 3 that, due to production issues, saw its base trim level cars reach buyers a whole year later than promised. So what can we take away from all this? Well, although its Mustang badge may have traditional Ford fans unhappy, the Detroit automaker clearly means business when it comes to the company's first entry in the EV market with the styling, specs, technology, and pricing to easily compete with the biggest name in electric cars, Ford has proven that it can definitely handle the car industry's battery-powered future.